Yo, that's right, man. It's time for the song and dance. It's your boy, Rob Dorsey, and we are back with another episode of the Beats and Brews podcast. And, you know, today, you're not used to this, but today, we got a very special guest, man. You know what I mean? So, I want to divert your attention over to my man, Dominic King Dom Draper. You know what I mean? Let me give you a little background on him. He is a pillar slash <laughs> column in the business that we call hip hop and journalism, you know what I mean? He is uh, one of the dudes who's holding up the very good standard of uh, 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 thoroughly written and thoughtful articles, you know what I'm saying? And also, what I just found out, got some old school, uh, 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 well, I can't even say old school, but he got some He got some hip hop under his belt too, as far as, you know, performing and rapping, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> Later on, we might have to see if we can get a little something out oh, of him, but man, you know, know what I mean. <laughs> but yo, bro, why don't you tell the people a little bit of something about yourself, man, and you know, give them some, give them some insight on who you are. Appreciate you, man. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know if I've ever been called a pillar. Okay, okay. But I mean, hey, I appreciate that. It's really, it's really hard for me yeah. to like talk about myself. I'm not a person no doubt, that no just doubt. like big, bigs myself up. I love what yeah. I do, genuinely. But um, my name's uh, Dominic King Dom Draper on Instagram. I go uh, at King underscore Dom three hundred two. Um, I write for uh, all hip hop as a freelance artist, I ra- a writer. I, wa- I work for um, Delaware Online. Um, I got my own podcast as well. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Shout out to you know, shout out to other podcasts supporting other podcasts. Most, de- most definitely. You know what I mean. A lot of people they say Delaware is like uh, yeah. always in competition. Nobody want right. to work each other out, but you know we out here supporting each other. So I gotta have exactly. you on the show now. Most definitely. You man. know what you I mean. So, and I'm looking forward to that day. Yeah. So Word. the Corner Store podcast it actually airs tonight at seven. Exactly. Uh, we got Herb Middleton. As a guest tonight, um, he's a former bad boy producer. But I'm just trying to work, man. I just really um, heavy. shout out to Gauchi yeah. Greg. He really gave me, yeah. you know, the you know the shot I needed. Right. And um, really, you know, it's all all thanks to God, really. Yeah, you man. know what I mean. Yeah, like yeah. really, you know, all these doors just open, man. Right. And it's just really, you know, from being faithful. That's a beautiful thing. You know man. what I mean. And so, but I mean, just coming in contact with Gauchi Greg mm-hmm. in the way I did. You know, chance meeting, telling him I can write, mm-hmm. and um, I basically just sent him samples. Mm-hmm. You know, he was nice enough for me to run up on him in uh, the club, yeah, and be like, "Yo, I know who you are. I can write, blah blah." Wow. He said, "All right, here's my number." Yeah, I sent him samples, and he, uh, you know, he was like, "Well, we can use you on a paper." Dang. And so that really was the beginning of everything, man. It was That's just what's like, up. yeah. So the best thing I'm trying to do is just take advantage. It's been a it's been a good like six seven years since then, mm-hmm. and so now I'm just really starting to push, right. and with my podcast and mm-hmm. with doing more of my own thing and you know kind of um, using the relationships right. and the things that I built up mm-hmm. with some people in the industry to try to now get you know those exclusive interviews. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, most definitely. You know what I mean? So we've had people like um, uh, Freeway on the show. <laughs> we had Shabazz the OG. Yeah, we had. Um, Hodge G, he produced um, Majestic. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just really trying to, you know, do something different. Right. You know, right. and nobody really thinks of Delaware as, you know, a media. For real, though. Place. But <laughs> yeah. with the internet, it's all here. Right. You right. know what I mean? Like doing what you're doing. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. having studio rooms, you know. Right. Hell yeah. So, you know. Basically, anything's respect. possible, man. Yeah. You know, and you'll live in testament to. Uh, uh, just opening your heart and opening your mind to allowing things to become possible. Word. You know what I'm saying? Just letting things happen. You know, it's a it's a it's a beautiful feeling when you when you have that faith and your faith is realized. You know what yep. I mean? And so you you uh, 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 the humbleness is a beautiful thing. It's a very beautiful thing. You know, you got to make sure everybody. Who, who 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 watches this uh knows that um number one you appreciate everything that comes your way and you know you're willing to work with everybody even you know little dudes like me man that's out here just doing it you know i never saying? you know my thing is like i don't really see myself as anybody big yeah, yeah. and people say stuff like that like yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, because you the man, like, you the man. Yeah. And I'm just like, <laughs> I don't really see it like that. Right, right, So, right. you know, it's weird. Like, I almost, it's almost like, 
you know, it's definitely flattering, but it's just like I don't ever really stop and think like that because I'm you. just still trying to. I'm, I guess because mm-hmm. the money is just really starting yeah, yeah. to maybe it's starting to finally make capital. Right, right. Like right. I put a lot of time time doing free stuff. Yeah, free for a long time. And the thing about it is, people look at you like, oh, we see you here, we see you there, yeah. we see you get to hang with celebrities and do this and that. Right. And I'm like, yeah, but you know, I'm just there mm-hmm. because I'm maybe have the access to be there. Right. And I don't right. mean that's translating to the big dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, yeah. but you know, I've definitely been blessed in a lot of different ways. But now is when I'm trying to like use all the stuff I built and the time right. I put in to try yeah. to capitalize off it. That's a beautiful You know what thing, I mean? Man. But it's yeah. it's been it's, it, ain't, it ain't easy. I understand. You know what that. I mean? So I appreciate when you say <laughs> stuff like you say, but it's yeah. just like I don't ever think of it like that. I feel you and you know, to be honest. You know, that's not for you to think, you know what I mean? Yep. Because when you move off a of passion, you know, until you until you reach where you mentally really want to be, mm-hmm. you're supposed to think that the next plateau is still, you know, you're supposed to, you're never supposed to be complacent, you right. know what I mean? You're right. You gotta always, always stay gotta, hungry. Yeah, always got to stay hungry and keep moving forward. You know? At the end of the day, man, like I really want to be able to feed my family with this. Right. But yeah. I know I'm not doing that yet. Right, right And I'm right. feeding my family. I got another job, a full-time job. Yeah. But, you know, it's really about the hustle after work. Yeah. And um, But really, but what keeps me humble at the end of the day is, like I said, my faith in God. Mm-hmm. Because I know as soon as I start thinking I'm somebody or I'm big, this person, and I'm, yeah. it's all going to go... I feel gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's really, up. and I really have always just, you know, grown, grown up like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everything I that's been going on, I really see it as a blessing. I enjoy doing it. Mm-hmm. I'm a hip hop head. Yeah. I, you know, so it's like, I'm still, you know, a rookie. I'm still considered a rookie in this mm-hmm. game. Even though I got eight years in journalism, yeah. I'm still a rookie because I haven't, right. but I'm not, I haven't broken through yet. So it's not for no me really yeah. to be like, I'm, I'm I'm happy to be part of Delaware history. Right. At the end of the day, yeah. so whether this is what God's plan is for me or yeah. not, like my attitude is going to be if I end up doing something else, mm-hmm. you know, and, 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 and totally different, then I'm going to look back on this time when I have kids and be like, you know, show them the articles and be like, you know, yeah. your dad was able to do this, <laughs> this and that. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm not really I'm not even really stuck on anything. Okay. okay. You know what I mean? I but I can tell you my passion is media. Yeah. My passion is this. Um, like I told you, I've been getting into the voice artist thing lately. Yeah. So that's kind of like been another thing right. which can make money now. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it can make money immediately. So right. I've been really, I have a, I just have a passion for media in general. Most when I come time. in here and I see like yeah. you got your computer. <laughs> yeah. When I see, I'm, I'm like, my li- my eyes light up. I love right. techie stuff. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I'm with you. I have a very, very nerdy side. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to keep it real. Hey. What can I say? Hey, man? there you go. You I didn't even think about it. You yeah, know what I mean? There you go. Nerd up. <laughs> Word, bro. Like, it's... I, I, um, I read... The Big Bang Theory it. Cups. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Word. I wish I had some of my comic books laying around. Hey. You know? Word. Like, the... the, the uh, I, I took the I took the word nerd and reimagined it, like, maybe nine years ago. Word. You know what I'm saying? In my mom's basement when I first... Well, not when I first started recording, but... Around the time I had first built a studio, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's so like, oh, hold on, wait. I was 17. So, yeah, that's 12 years ago. My bad. Mm. 12 years ago. Built my studio off of, you know, I was working three jobs, bro. Um, and uh, uh, I just wrote on the cement wall in the basement and URD. And, like, at the time, I really didn't even, you know, have anything behind it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All I knew was, you know, I used to get made fun of, dweeb, nerd, uh, 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 all this other stuff, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And um, so, a couple years later, I came back to it, and I wrote underneath it, never underestimate Rob D, you know? Right, you know that's high. Word. That's so high. That was, so See, I never even knew that. <laughs> you feel me? That's high. <laughs> so, that's how, that's how the whole nerd came to be, and now, you know, it can stand for anybody, you know what I'm saying? Just take the RD, make it what you want, real dreams, or... You know anything? You know what right. I'm saying? It could, it could, it could. It's, it's, it's transferable. You know what I mean? So like, when people bring up the word nerd, I'm like, I'm glad you feel that way because it's, it's something close to my heart. Yeah. You ready to get into this beer? I'm ready, man. 
Well, see, what people don't know about me, you know, I, oh yeah, I, I don't, you know, I don't, you know, promote a bunch of illicit drinking, right? But I do, <laughs> I am a, I do like beer a lot, you know. No I doubt, go. No doubt. My wife just recently took me to to the Dogfish, yeah, brewery. I did that tour, right? So though. you know, I'm, I've become kind of like a beer snob, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm always trying, I like tasting the little yeah. the different beers. I just try anything now, most definitely, because I just like you know the way that everything is. It's like beer is like wine now. Yes, you know, I like yes. smelling it. I like, yeah. I'm interested in like reading what they. The ingredients. So Most when definitely. I saw the dogfish, do you ever do the dogfish tour? Yes, sir. That, yeah. I mean, wasn't it crazy? You know? Yeah, it's wild. Like when you watch it, is, it is inspiring. And to you was at the, you went to the new one, didn't you? Yes, I did go to. Okay, the new one. yeah. I, I didn't do. I did the free one, the free tour. Did, yeah, but I didn't. They have they another tour. They have another one that's a paid one. Oh, okay, that's like okay. more in depth. Yeah, of like other parts of the thing. Right. But it was cool though. I mean, they let you try a bunch of stuff. Yeah. But I always think dogfish is like my favorite. Okay. Okay. Brewery right now, they, yeah. they everything they make is is it's, it, it hits is good. Yeah. So um, but yeah, I love I like beer. So what we got today? Let me open up Han Solo real quick. Oh, there go the nerd merchandise right there. <laughs> right. Solo All right. Page. Frozen in carbon. Now. All right. <laughs> All right. That's so, crazy. Yeah. Boom, that's for you, bro. Oh, word, word. Today we got Flying Dog. And Flying Dog. This is called Summer Rental, right? Okay, so, you know, Summer Rental, I guess, it's like a little beach. Yeah, is that what that is? Because I, I can't even tell, no lie. Um, and they always got real wild artwork, yeah. you know what I'm saying? This is why I like Flying Dog. It's like Dog. a fish head with a rat's <laughs> yeah. head. Yeah, this is on weird. On some type of human arm. yeah. And the fish floating up to him got human hair and glasses, too. Yeah, that's what that's <laughs> yeah. So this is a Rattler. With a clock in his head, or I don't know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've, had, um, I've recently had a, a, a flying dog. Yeah. It was called, I think it had the, the flying dog something, tropical mango type of thing. Oh. Um, raging. Oh, Raging. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, that <laughs> raging. Definitely. That's, that's a classic one, too. That, they had that. I was at a Kishalines. Oh, for real? On Market Street? Yep. I mean, um, right around Trolley. Yep. Yeah. And they had it. It was, it was good. It was like, I like beers that incorporate fruit. Yeah. But don't like overdo it with the sweetness. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I had some beers that they incorporate with fruit and it's like too much. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's just like. Yeah, man. It's like juice. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want that. You that, you perfect, that beer flavor. Yeah. You know? Um, what's up with your? Uh, oh yeah, the, the joint you are making. Oh, oh we are gonna get into that too. We are gonna get into that. But let's uh, now hold on. Let me see here real quick because um, they usually have stories on here. So flying right. dog. Let me see. There. Oh, here we go. It says okay, okay. Sound like a Kanye. <laughs> <a little bit. laughs> That's hilarious. That definitely will. That's it. I know I look like a fish. I talk like a fish. But forget it. I don't feel like a fish anymore. Things have moved on. I'm a laboratory failure. That's evolution, honey. It's over. Find someone else. Ralph Stedman. Now, you see, that don't have nothing to do with nothing I see on here. I like we but should Google who Ralph Stedman is. We oh, really should. Know. Where's my phone? There it is. Let's see where this rapid trail takes us. Where? That's what I used Yo, to I'm a I'm a random Googler, man. I Google <laughs> everything. And I'll be having so much stupid random knowledge. My wife looks at me like I'll be sitting there watching playing Jeopardy, just getting I'm like, man, I just need to get on I need to go on Jeopardy. Yeah. Because I've ever since the internet has been popped, I've read a lot of magazines. Yeah. I go, I just read and research stuff. Straight up. So when you got like, you know, especially when I work construction, we be talking about random stuff like years. Yeah. Certain materials came out and blah blah blah. So we just look it up. Right. You just find out who invented it. Yeah. That's what the great thing about the internet is, man. I don't know what people did back in the day. I know, man. It's like if you had a debate, you just they was making agree stuff up. That's what they was doing. Yeah, they was, <laughs> you just agreed to disagree. For real. Nobody could check you. They're like, yeah, I heard how to make bread is you put water in the bucket. Right. And then you let it set in the sun. <laughs> right. And see what happens. Right. Oh, yeah? Okay. I'm going to try that. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Now you ain't got no water to drink the rest of the week. Nope. <laughs> so he, Ralph Stedman is a Welsh artist. And... He's best known for his work with American author Hunter S. Thompson. Mm. So I'm going to tell you like this, man. I'm not going to look him up any further. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, shout out to Ralph, Ralph Stedman. But what I, want, what I do want to do is I want to get into Flying Dog real quick because... Um, really out of. Exactly. That's where we got to get to. Um, it on here somewhere. They are from Frederick, Maryland. 
Oh, okay. Not far. And um That's pretty close. Ain't that ain't that like on the way to Baltimore? It might be. I feel like there's like a minor league baseball team out there. Like I pass every time I'm on. Yeah. Every time I'm on the way to uh, Baltimore. Yeah. You pass like a stadium on the right. Yeah, the uh stadium is that. I know what you're talking it's a about. Too. The Orioles. It's really nice, right? It is nice. So you said the Orioles Stadium? Yeah. It might be. Yeah. No, it's not the Well, that's in Baltimore. Yeah, and I'm talking about a minor league one. It's, they're a minor league team of the yeah. Orioles. Okay, okay. So, but shout out to Maryland, yo. Yeah. yeah, Maryland got some good things, man. Yeah. And. Summer rental. Did you taste it yet? Not yet. Oh. Not yet. I'm did trying. I, jumped the gun. I think I jumped the gun. You did? <laughs> it's ale brewed with grapefruit and passion fruit flavor. Mmm. So, Grapefruit and passion fruit flavors. That's good for the summer. Mm-hmm. Now, hey, have you tried a? I'm sorry to keep plugging dogs. No, you good. But they uh they have one called um, Sea Cracked. It's like it's, is that the one with the old bay on it? Nah, it has. Um, it's supposed to be like cracked. oh Sea Quench. Sea Quench. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, cracked pepper and Yo. something else. That was good. That the lime was and stuff, sour. Like it's kind of sour, it's and I don't think I would like sour. Yeah, you know what I mean. But it was not bad. I was so surprised, man, because I wasn't a fan of sour beers. You know what I mean? Because I had like two of them in the past before that, and uh, you know it was just a whole wave coming through the craft beer community, and I'm like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That but, one sequence is more like a lime sour, though. Yeah. You so know, when like that's I, why I, I had it with uh, with like fish. Yeah. So I had it with some type of fish, and it was okay. It, it was bad. Yeah, I can like, see that. Yeah, it was really good with fish because it had that summery light right taste to it. You know, fruit sometimes that kind That's... of flavor, light flavor goes good with fish. Yeah. So I gave up on looking flying dog up. You know what I'm saying? We got where uh, they from. You know, I don't want to keep looking down at my phone while we on good. camera and everything. But um, yeah. So let me try this thing real quick. It smells good. Yeah. What do you get when you smell it? I'm getting like. Ooh. It smells, it smells, I think, fruitier than it tastes. Yeah, it's real fruity. Like, it, they might have used extracts. That might be why. Yeah, yep. I'm really, I'm surprised there ain't no peach on here, because I'm smelling some peach. Like, almost like a, almost like the a pit bit. of a peach. It might be that passion fruit. Yeah. Um, Really good flavor. I don't even really know what passion fruit is, though. Nah. Have you ever had a passion fruit by I itself? have. Really? I have, yeah. It, cause it was, What's it look like? It, you know what, did I? In passion fruit, that uh, purple ball you cut in half, it's like green inside. Yeah, is it? I don't know. I could have swore. It might be. You like, know what? I don't even remember no more. Yeah. Crazy. I, don't know. I had the dragon fruit, and I was like, because uh, was dragon, that good? Yeah. Really? It was weird. I've seen it. But it was good. It was, though. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. It tastes I don't like know. I weird messes it up for me too. It tastes like uh, kiwi and watermelon mixed together. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like. It's strange, but it's good though. You know what I mean? Okay. Word. So, but this right here, it's like Ooh. real light, and you know, I'm actually surprised because it looks like Miller Light, but it tastes way better than Miller right. Light. Don't it's a little more wrong. thicker when you look through it than Miller Light. Yeah. But yeah. It's, um, it definitely was what you would look look for if you're thinking summer beer. Right. Usually yeah, when you up. think fall, you think dark beer, exactly, pumpkin yeah. beer, yep, yep, all That's, that kind of stuff. This is more like. I'm gonna be working Definitely on one summary. of them. I'm gonna be working on one of them too. A pumpkin beer? Yeah. I like it for a little bit, then I yeah. get tired of it. You know, they kill it. They yeah. kill it in the fall. They do, man. It's like 25 of them now. You know what I mean? Running around. It's probably gonna be more this year. Yep. You know? But the, um, so, boom. Let's get into some hip hop real quick. Word. So this beer. You know, I like talking hip hop. Ex- exactly, <laughs> right? So, this beer, Summer Rental, a Rattler. Um, and. I know when I think when I hear the word Rattler, I'm thinking about like you know trunk Rattlers, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And when it, when you relate it to music, it automatically takes you to those real hard beats, you know what I'm saying? The the just the the, the stuff that's memorable, you know what I mean? Right. So when you think summer, hip hop, mm-hmm. what pops into your mind? What's the what's like one of the one of the mainstays that that you that you that you that you can run to in the summertime to feel good? I mean, I I mean I guess. You know, I don't want to be cliche, but <laughs> you got to go to summertime. This is true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 you yeah. know, shout out to Jazzy Jeff and Word. Fresh Prince. You know, they going on the sidebar. They going they're going to They're rehearsing. Right? Yeah. Already. I seen the pictures on, on, on Instagram. Word. They're I was rehearsing. looking at that too. Crazy. But um, <laughs> that beat and just that whole flow, that whole song in general yeah. is just, 
it's a complete song. Whether right. you like either one of them or not. Yeah. You know, that song is always going to be used in movies and oh, commercials. Yeah. Yeah. And the, always going to be at the cookouts. Always. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, it's just the perfect summertime song from a hip hop yeah. standpoint. Right. So you got to give it to that, and that's kind of like you know, this has that summertime yeah. taste to it. Most it's definitely. Light. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you summer, you out at the beach. Mm-hmm. You are doing probably it's hot outside. Yeah. You don't want no beer that's gonna no heavy joint. heavy yeah. weigh you down. Right. You know, warm you up any more than yeah. you already hot. Yeah. It's kind of more refreshing like that. And very light on the hops, too. Right. I'm and surprised by that. Well, yeah. You know, which, yeah, I guess, yeah. It could, I think it could be a little more hoppy. Yeah, it's very light on it. I'm like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I was surprised. Like, I don't, they might not even have any in here. Because I don't see I think if, you're right. If, if, I, if I had to say anything was missing, yeah. it could be a little more hoppy. Word. You know, to, to go with the... Um, the fruit taste. Yeah. And like, I'm really getting a lot of their malt character too. Like, it's, that might be a Pilsen malt, but like, I'm not gonna act like, like I know what you're talking about. Either. Biscuit too. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm brewing so like, <laughs> I just I'm, call I'm myself learning, a beer snob, but I have no clue <laughs> about the type of hops because you're brewing. Yeah, I'm you, brewing. You're on man. a different level. Yeah, I'm yeah, looking at all this stuff now. You feel me? Uh-huh. And so like, I'm telling you like, three, four months ago, yeah. I didn't know. You know what I mean? I had like a little clue certain things because I was brewing already before but I wasn't like managing my own brews writing my own recipes Mm. you feel me so that's what you do now yeah it's hot this Mangus Khan joint man that sounded good I like mango period so I haven't well I ain't gonna go over the the recipe on camera right but I gotta tell you about how I brewed it it. not yet I got the I got the keg ready and all that so if you wanna help me out we can get it kegged up and all that how long did you keg it up probably like 20 minutes at that it might, it might not even be that long for you. <laughs> you feel me like cause you can um, cause uh, I'm a we're gonna put it in the keg and set it off to the side but I'm gonna still have enough to uh, pour some try so what's what a mean? so what's it like in a, uh, like a mango infused beer basically basically I think that's what you gave away online yeah that's basically right. you, <laughs> didn't, you didn't put it in the other stuff where like and they don't uh, I didn't put the uh, process that I did or whatever or how I use the mangoes in there because it's very intricate and it's very integral to right. uh, how it's going to come out. You know mm. what I'm saying? Real mad scientists with it right, right. now. You feel me? <laughs> but, have uh, you been doing like research on how other mm-hmm. people brew and how they yes. incorporate stuff? Okay. I have been and um, a lot of them I haven't been a bit, I haven't been able to find too many super creative people. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like they get real creative with their brewing setups. Right. But, like, when it comes to their uh, recipes, a lot of them are, like, cut and paste. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm I'm just trying to, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to break the mold, man. I hear that. Where, yeah, it's my first beer this week, too. Excuse me. Yeah, me I'm, too. I feel, like, I feel disappointed in myself, man. <laughs> like, you feel me? But, like. It, I, you know, I had my, uh, I had my party in phase in college. Yeah. Slowed down a whole lot. I feel you. You I feel know what I mean? You. I just, uh. <laughs> You know, I'm married now, so, yeah. you know. <laughs> That'll slow it down. I, yeah, too. football season's coming up. That's probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who your team? <laughs> Cowboys, man. That's my girl team, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw the flag. I was like, oh, yeah. nobody in Cowboys. <laughs> they play tonight, man. Oh, yeah? Preseason? First, first preseason game of the season. Okay, okay. So, you know, I'm hype. It's like a holiday yeah. for me. They got to keep my, They gotta keep the young boy out of the, out of the bars, man. He, he, Don't get me started, man. Don't get me started talking about football. <laughs> They, they they make me mad. They, you know, I mean, he, he's doing his young boy thing right now. Mm-hmm. You know, he got to get it together. Yeah. You know, we all know he's got a great opportunity, but for real, he, and he's good, man. He got to stop trying to be Instagram famous all yeah. the time. You know what I mean? He's really good, man. He like, is good. You a, you a Eagles fan? Nah, like I'm I'm leaning. I was raised a Cowboys fan. Uh, okay. Emma Smith, you know, uh, my man Deion Sanders. You feel me? Uh, yo, we like I was raised. Straight up Cowboys and Michael Jordan and Allen Iris. Mm. <laughs> and then, uh, I mean, I just fell off of football. You know what I'm I saying? Agree. But um, I never had any other favorite team. Okay. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of back with I'm kind of back with them. Mm-hmm. They 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 got me with the young dudes, Dak and and and, and, and Zeke. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yeah. uh, I'm looking forward to what they do this year. I think they could really, really take it somewhere. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Word. Word. Well, hopefully that happens. Yeah, man. Let's see. Well, let's but get back I at you. I didn't really ask you, though. What oh, what, yeah. what song do you think of? When you... Summertime. Shoot. Summertime hip-hop. I like... 
I'm going to go with Naughty by Nature, man. Right? What song? Hip Hop Array. Mm. It's either going to be Hip Hop Array or OPP. Yeah. I really yeah. think, I, I just think like Naughty, they got the energy. Trash out there spitting yeah. real crazy. The yeah. drums is all wild. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Hip Hop Array is one of those uh, songs I remember as a kid because yeah. it's easy to remember the uh, Right. <laughs> so yeah. even if you didn't know what they were saying yeah. right at a young age, you got the hip hop array. You right, know, you knew right. you knew what it was. Yeah, and it definitely has that summertime. Yep, you know, crowd concert feel. Yeah, and it's got that '90s summertime feel too. You feel me? You, you ain't lying, bro. That right there is something special. Yep. It's something that it's something that a lot of people uh, need to get back to. You know what I mean? Yep. I mean like, and then uh, here we go. Or how was it? Uh, here we go now. Yeah. You, hear, you feel me? That yeah. joint. Like Naughty got some joints, man. Or but like if if you can if you could like let me see here. If you could put a mixtape together, right? Of summer joints, then and now, mm -hmm. um who would you get to open that thing? Hmm, to open like a concert? Uh mixtape. Like what mm -hmm. what would be like the first track you put on there? For like a summertime? Mm-hmm. <laughs> man, that's real tough. Yeah, man. I remember Beats and Brews where we asked the tough questions. Yeah, man. <laughs> There's just so many good summertime songs. Right. I mean, one person I always remember, you know, whenever the summertime hit, I always feel like the down south artists. Oh yeah, came, yeah, yeah. Came hard. Right. So people like Ludacris. Okay, okay, that okay. Great, you know, yeah. down south, uh, summertime tracks. Right. Um, I always think of what's that song uh, that DTP did, Growing Pains. Oh, remember that song? No, nah. never heard that. I don't remember that joint. It was like, all right. So you remember? <laughs> you remember? Ludacris had DTP. It was yeah. Him. It was Shwana. Yep. A couple other rappers. Yeah. They had that song that used that sample. Ding ding ding. ding, 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 ding. That sample was been mm, used mm. a million times. Yeah. But it was just them all talking about oh, like they was yeah. at a cookout. It was slower. It was, it was slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. was just all talking about growing up. Right. And, yeah. You know, when we was kids. Like, yeah, you know that was, like, yeah, yeah, that was yeah, yeah, that was the joint. Sorry, right. but that, they, that's that's not really a radio single, but that's yeah. you know, that's what I think of. They did have a video too. I remember that joint. Yep. Yeah, that was cool. I'll probably like let me see. I'll probably go with Something that, mm, I had something in my mind too. I'll probably go with, you know what? Rough Riders Anthem, dog. Yeah, that's always a good pick. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Drop. Yep. Shut them down, open up shop. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> always playing at the cookouts. <laughs> right. Yep, that. Word. I was also thinking of uh, electric relaxation. Mm. But that's a that beat come on too. Yeah, yeah. tribe. Yeah, I mean, sh yeah, tribe. Tribe got a lot of summertime. I'm tripping. Yeah, <laughs> we do, man. And word, rest in peace, Fife Dog. Yep. You know what I mean? They they uh they are a mainstay. You know yep. what I'm saying? And in 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 uh dare I say the black family household as sh it should be. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I love Tribe Called Quest, man. Did you hear their new album? I did. Yeah. I thought it was great. I really liked it. I, I really liked it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, they always got that message. Exactly. What was it called? It's a, uh, we uh, got it from here. Well, yeah, we got it yeah. from here. Yeah. Really good. I got to go check that out if you didn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Try to call Quest. I listen to everything on Spotify, so. Yeah. Work. <laughs> 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 don't doubt. Don't doubt. Y'all should hit me up. Hey. Oh, they got profiles on there? Yeah. That's right. They do. They made it like a social media thing, right? Somewhat. I mean, I don't yeah. do a lot of social media stuff yeah. on there. And people can just see like who you're listening to, and they mm -hmm. can see your like playlists and stuff if okay. you if you want to. Right. But I love Spotify. I've been with Spotify as a streaming service for probably like five years. Oh damn! Like, and so my thing is they they have uh, the stuff they have now. Like they kind of they know what you like, mm -hmm. and they build these like daily playlists for you. Okay, yeah, you know, that's with a yeah. mix of stuff you saved, right? In your in your and what you like, and then a mix of newer artists, yeah, or, or other songs they think you like. And okay. then um, they have this weekly playlist mm -hmm. called Discover Weekly, mm -hmm. and it puts together a bunch of artists that it thinks I would like. And artists, okay. most of the time, it's artists that I wouldn't, I've never heard of. The yeah. whole playlist is is artists 
a new a different song. So I, it puts oh, me wow. on the mad rappers that are still in that right. young phase, yeah. but they're popping a little. They got like a okay. you know internet following, so I can like also it helps me so I can hit them up, find out when they coming out. Most definitely, yeah. And they, yeah. They, their show is ten dollars. Catch them on that's the up. bar. Yeah. Like, that's when you really get in and make that relationship right. as a journalist because it's up. much harder after that. I can tell you yeah. a funny story later. All right? right, right, real quick. Let me just check the camera because it yeah. stops on me after seventeen. Oh, minutes. got you. But um. We might be past that. Yep. I wonder how far back we... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it happens. Yeah. That's why we do the audio too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we back. Sorry about that, guys. The camera cut off. Um, But, you know, we still love you, babe. <laughs> King Dom in the building. King Dom in the building. Yo, it's the Beats yo. and Brews podcast. We out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they might not have seen the bottle, but this is the bottle. This is uh, Summer Rental. It's a Rattler by Flying Dog. Yeah. Out of Maryland. And, uh, yeah. So they heard us, but we talking about, you know, summertime hip hop. Yeah. Got the mixtapes popping. Yeah. Let's see uh 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 the funny story. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, so this was a uh this was one of those learning moments for me mm-hmm. where I had to realize I couldn't mix my personal personal music preferences yeah. and journalism. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh you know, when it comes to being able to hear who's hot, whether I like them or not, who's right. coming up. Yeah. Because I will go and meet with them and try to get into their concerts right. while they're young. Yeah. But, like, three, four years ago, I don't know if you remember the uh, the Foxtail Festival, that, the Pipe Pop Festival that was at the River yeah. Front. Yeah. Travis Scott and it was oh, wow. uh, Machine Gun Kelly. MGK was there? Yeah, man. Oh, people even, It's crazy, yo. It was at the River Front. Like, That's wild. It was a Chase crazy Center? Huh? Chase Center? No, it was outside. It was a festival. Wow. You know what I mean? People yeah. slept on it. You know what I mean? Real. It was a good show, but people slept on it. Um, but um, those dudes ended up taking their event to Philly. Yeah. And they did it in like a club area or something. But they brought, this. the one year they brought, um, three years ago, they brought Lil Uzi. He was the, okay. uh, by that time he was just popping on the internet. Yeah. He's a Philly rapper. Right. I ain't really know too much about him. Right? right. And I, you know what I mean? I heard he was popping in, you know, that piff and stuff. Okay. So when I see, uh, his manager at the time was Diamond Cuts. Mm-hmm. Oh, DJ. wow. So I know the dudes from, they give me press pass, whatever. Yeah. I'm on stage. They, Lil Uzi come up. He's not really even rapping yeah. with the song. He's just so hype. Just, yeah, <laughs> you know, jumping in the crowd every now and then he yells some stuff on the yeah. mic that he's just crazy out of control. Right, Diamond Cut. I'm like Diamond Cut is promoting this dude. Like, yeah. he must, they must know something we don't know. Right. So I was just like, yo, he ain't even saying nothing. Like, what? <laughs> I was like, I'm not even gonna care about getting wow, an interview with this dude. Yeah. Now I'm like, you should have got that interview, dog. <laughs> <laughs> he probably wrote that song about uh, you. I don't really care if you cry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking like, yo, it would have been so nice to have some old footage. Yeah. Did he have did he have the uh what color is his hair right now? Green? Did he did he have some wild nah, hair? Nah, no? he had the dreads. Yeah. Yeah, he had some kind of crazy beads and everything else. He's okay. just a different dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's definitely and I you know, Domica saw something, yeah. obviously they know what the wave is. Right. So, I mean he he's what? He's pretty much on he's on the Hottest song of the year. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Bad and Bougie's the hottest song of the year. Oh, yeah, true. He's on it. So, you know what I mean? Even though people probably, I know I skip right when it gets to <laughs> No personal. It's just, I feel you know, it. the other two verses, then, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was a lesson for me, man. I was like, dang. Yeah, you man. You know, that was a lesson for me to, to, to in my mind, okay, I got to think more like a music executive. Because that's another exactly. thing I want to get into is managing artists. Okay, You yeah. know, if I have one artist that I'm semi-managing now but go. not we still trying to get things worked out okay but um you know I have to be able to see talent mm-hmm. not based on what I like yeah. but based on what marketability man. like marketability yeah man. you know what I mean that's so, what it is when, right, I, so. when I think of beats and brews I'm like that's hey. a very marketable concept what can I say you know what I'm <laughs> <saying>? <laughs> nerd up I'm t- exactly nerd <laughs> up baby I'm trying man you know and um I'm a uh, I'm I'm getting it. I'm getting more into the multimedia game. Okay. Um, uh, I uh, got a flyer right now offering my services for a flat hourly rate for video, audio engineering, you know, and even some production. Okay. You know what I mean? And um, I uh I put it up yesterday and I got one bite from uh Fr- you know Franchon. Mm-hmm. The piece of poetry. Yep. Yeah. So she hit me up about um uh, uh her she's doing an EP right now. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And she sent me two of her tracks. 
Oh, they, oh, Crazy she joke. Nice. Word. And I'm like, yo, I said, yeah, I got I gotta step my game up if I would do some production for yeah. this EP because the joint she had, super jazzy, super, you know, just cool. You know what I mean? And uh I mean I'm, I'm all right. But I gotta get that I gotta get that sound. You know what I mean? But um yeah, like this I feel like Delaware is Delaware like so big for its size. Mm, it is. It's so big for its size, man. It it's sounds like going cr- on. Word, like it's bananas. Like it's and everybody seems like a world apart almost. You know what I mean? And I went to um the open mic at the uh, Chris White Gallery mm. um last okay. week. Was that last week? Yeah, that was last week. Yep. And um I mean I was there I was there for about uh forty five minutes, yep. but I had to bounce, I had to go. And uh, I was just standing out on the corner for a little bit. And I was like, yo, it's probably like 25 people that I know, social media-wise. Right. That's like two minutes away, probably. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? All in different directions. And, uh, you know, being down in Middletown, it's just like, you know, everything is just, you yeah. know, gone. But um, being up there, I was like, I felt a different energy, you know. And the energy that a lot of people talk about. Like, right. Right in, right in the city. You know what I mean, and um, it felt good. It's back. I was back home. You know what I mean, right? But uh, uh, why did I start that? I don't even know. I don't even know. Thanks, man. <laughs> you got me all rattled up, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. <laughs> you feel? You know, sometimes it be like that. Sometimes you just gotta talk about what you're thinking about. Yeah, man. But word, man. So like. Say what up to IG Live real quick. What's the deal, yeah. IG Live? It's your boy Rob Dorsey, man. Nerd up, baby. Hey, nerd up. We on the Beats and Bruce podcast. <laughs> That's right. Word, man. It feels good, though, man. So back to that mixtape. Who would you get? Mm. So the mixtape is dying down now. Okay. Right? It's cooling down. It's summertime. Think about it like the sun's going down and you got the you got the aroma candles lit to keep the mosquitoes away at the cookout. Right. Who do you have playing at that point in time? Man, who would I have playing? It's cooling down. Oh, man. I guess it would have to be something jazzy. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. I almost want to go like the fabulous Soul Tape route. He's got some, some like Yo. some summertime field tracks on there, too. What is going on here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know yeah. what I mean? Soul Tape is official, man. I mean, I only had the first one. I think he got three, right? He got three. That's crazy. The first, the, the first all, all three of them are hot, but yeah. the first ones, the first two are probably the best. Yeah. Yep. My joint on there is uh, Drugs. Mm. That's my joint. And mm. the boy Broadway on there, like, killed that joint. Yeah, Singing. They all killed it. Shoot! Like, yeah, Fabulous, man. He just, I feel like he want to rap so they ain't got to do a whole lot. Yeah. He just, he probably, when it comes to dressing, yeah. the, the fly is <laughs> right. He always got some jersey I'd never seen before. Yeah. Like, Fabulous always pops up with some type of shirt that you're like, right. where'd you get that from? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I got the snake to match it. Yeah. Yo, he popped up with the with the above the rim jersey one time. Like, like you what's kidding going me? on? Like, <laughs> what's the joint from, uh, what's the what's the movie, the basketball movie where there was a shooting on the court? Like, Above the rim. Oh, well, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah. Stupid, yeah. Yeah, that's, you know what I mean? And I was like, where, where, is where, did, you, where did you get that? Straight like, up. Who like, who's selling that? You know what I mean? <laughs> and why has nobody thought about it till now? Yo, for real, man. And I did see, like, recently I saw a website with all these jerseys. They had that one. They had the Fresh Prince joint. I saw that, too. You seen that? Now that's the thing. You feel me? That's yeah. the thing, man. And I'm like, all yo. All the old fictional jerseys. Word. Gonna be the hottest. And I had the, yo. It's I ain't gonna, gonna be lie. whack again. I had that idea like years, years ago, ago and I was like man yeah. that's so whack though <laughs> there's a lot of things I, I, I feel like that come out and I'm like yo mm-hmm. if you could just think of something cheap yeah. and simple that catches right you could make a million dollars straight like, up in, man in the internet age now yeah. you know what I mean it's crazy I always be thinking that just like writing down little ideas yeah. that I get it's like yo one day yeah you know like fidget spinner it's like who came up with a Word, fidget spinner a fidget spinner somebody's making a million dollars off a of fidget spinner uh, I got two upstairs spinner. right now I don't have one yet <laughs> but I have ADD so the other day yeah. I was messing with my nephews and I'm like right yo this 
so yeah, that's so great. Word. And for some reason, it's just like it's calming. I don't know why. Yeah, it chills you out. Like it does it's, chill you out. I was um, I I uh, I had a, uh, I got a little uh, uh, injury, right? Uh huh. So I got some like some uh, uh neurological things going on. Mm. So I get like fidgety with my arms and stuff right. sometimes. So my girl had just surprised me one day because my man had left one. Uh, I tried to do a podcast with one of my boys. Right. My bad. Tried to do a podcast with one of my boys, and it was a bad idea. Right. So, he ended up leaving the one that he had here, so I'm playing with it, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, this is all right. This is pretty cool, but it's, you know, it's only spinning for like 10 seconds, and then it's uh, over with. I'm like, oh, that's kind of whack, you know what I mean? Out. Yeah. When we go back to this, I need you to yeah. do a slow-mo of you saying I'm sorry to your microphone. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was touchy. Word. That I was, love you. Know, That's like, my baby sorry. right there. That's my baby. Like, you, like, touch his chin. Like, touch her chin. Like, I'm sorry. Word. Like, I, I, sorry. Yo, that's how I've been talking to my parents, too, dog. I've been like... I've been that joke down, was so funny. Like, <laughs> like, he was just like... He just... Part, I'm sorry. <laughs> Word. That's just how I am, man. You feel me? Word. <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> but nah, that's good. I mean, I gotta give me a fidget spinner because I realized like that's what that was my problem growing up. I was very just fidgety anyway. Yeah. So you know, when I'm supposed to be doing homework. I'm playing with pencils for some reason. Word, you know yeah. what I mean? Like Word. just not you know focus. Yeah. But I heard they work. I heard they work if you just it helps you. You know, do something with your hands. Yeah, exactly. You know, and they got them for like five dollars at they the Walmart. Over. I think they everywhere. They all they at Caltown. Yeah, they at the gas station. They. I didn't even think about Caltown. So the dude that dog. probably making them probably getting getting ripped off everywhere. Oh, for real though, everybody yeah. copying it. You yeah, know what like I'm he must. You know what he could have did? You ever watch uh, uh, what's that show that come on TV? Shark Tank. Yeah, yeah. You know, he kind of probably probably I'll be learning what they talking about too. <laughs> but he probably like licensed it out. Oh, that would have been good. So multiple companies yeah. can make it a fidget spinner, yeah. but they just got to pay for the license. That's what I can do with my beer recipes, but I can't legally sell what I make in the crib. But like when I get recipes that work, I can license them to breweries and stuff, and they can sell them out. Mm. You know. What I'm so saying? so you can take what you make and approach yeah. a brewery and let them taste it, and right. like set up a meeting. I can't take it out the house. What? Yeah, legally. So how does that work though? You can't take it out the house. Nah. I can like I think what I've been thinking about because I've been trying to plan this for like a couple of weeks. Right. Maybe invite uh, head brewers just to the crib. You know what I'm saying? I, like I know the dudes at uh, Argillus. You know they did yeah. the green tea beer for me, and um, you know I can just try to tap into that network. Be like, yo, I got a recipe. I want y'all to come check it out if you like it. So at the end of the day, what if you just did take it like a small amount over there? And <laughs> And well, like, oh, I, we're gonna do it. It's not like nobody gonna knock on your door. What officially? I, but I don't want you officially. To do I would not do that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. Don't come check it for me. Yeah, but just don't, uh, just don't drink it on the way. You should be all right. Yeah, no open containers. No open containers. <laughs> yeah. like, you know. It's not like they're gonna be like, yeah. is this homebrew? Word, exactly. Like, <laughs> like, yo, man, come on. This is Miller Lite. Right. You know what Miller Lite tastes right, like, exactly. don't you? Why is there no label on the bottle? I tore it man, off. It was hot outside. What can I say? Me and my friend had one, and I didn't want to get it mixed up, so I Word. tore the label off. <laughs> yeah. I got no label. He got labels. It's shirts versus right. skins. Exactly, right. <laughs> but now that's cool, so you can at least get make some bread off it if yeah. people like it. Yeah, man. That's hot. You so, yeah, I mean? man, you find that one that works, then you set up, you, all you got to do is set up that meeting. Yo, this is going to be that one, dog. Mm. I'm sitting up here, like the I'm telling you. Get, yeah, Mangus Khan. Mm. Yeah, I'll sit there. I, I, I'm talking to it every day, and I'm like, "You gonna be my, you gonna be the bearer of my abundance." Right. <laughs> and then <laughs> I say good night till before I go to sleep. Don't judge me, people. <laughs> I'm just living life, man. Yo, I'm speaking things to this beer so that that beer can same way you bring it in. Caress that microphone. Exactly. <laughs> you know, You're very caring Sorry, of the baby. things that you love. Sorry, baby. That's the baby right there. Right. That's my bluebird, baby. <laughs> right. But That's yeah, man. Up. Well, I hope that works out, man, because, you know, that's this is the time to jump on uh, the whole gold rush thing. If that's what you do, yeah. you brew and you want to, yeah. you know, that's, this is the time because it's like a, it's like a gold rush for, for it breweries. It really is, man. Everybody's into <laughs> good stuff and it can blow, it can blow up. Yeah, like last year it was a $1.4 billion industry. It's crazy. Just craft beer. Just you craft, know what I mean? Just craft beer. Just craft beer. Not even Anheuser-Busch and all them. 
Just craft beer. Yeah, they getting their money, but you know, <laughs> when you realize that, like you said, it's always about the internet, bro. Word, straight up. Because of the internet, people can say... One of my favorite mixtapes, too. <laughs> Word. Word. Yo, you talking about the band? Childish Gambino. Oh, yeah. Because the internet... It's, but I love the internet, though. You like the internet, the band? Oh, yeah. Ego yeah. Trip. Um, That's such weird. We just went from the internet <laughs> to the internet by Childish Gambino to the band, yeah. the internet. <laughs> Word. <laughs> You know what? After I discovered the internet, I thought he called it that because of the band. Right, right, right. Nah. That's that's a great album. Yeah, for All real, man. Through. Word. But the internet, the band, they're dope. Word. Uh, Have you heard their albums? Uh, I heard Ego Death. Ego Death is and, crazy. Um, I think I listened to that for like, it was probably a couple months straight. Bro, me too. Like, no skipping. No Keep skipping. it on repeat. Every song was hot. Exactly. That girl's voice is so, like, Yo, Sid, perfect. man. Sid is her a album, beast. Her album good, too. She got a new album. I didn't album. even hear it. I didn't hear, it's her, hot. hear hers. Yeah. If you like the internet, it's basically yeah. the internet. It's a, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever band she got behind yeah, her. But up. it's still, you know, she's she the only she one that sings like that. Too. Yeah, she's a beast. You know what I mean? I didn't know she was producing for Our Future when she first came up. Ah, man. I wanted to see her this weekend, too, because... They got a festival over in uh, Columbia, Maryland, Maryland that yeah. I went to last year. Yeah. It's called the, I want to say it's the Merriweather Festival or something okay. like that. Um, the Spirit Festival. Mm. You know, it's more of like an old school. Mm. Last year they had Jill Scott. Okay. They had um, like the, uh, what's the, the go-go dude? Um, Chuck Brown Band. Mm. They had all type of, it was, yeah. but it was a hot concert. Right. This year they got The Roots. Okay. They got, um, I think, The Lines. They got Teddy Riley. Oh, man. They got, um, and then they, and they, and they got the too. internet. So I yeah. was like, yo, we got to go. But that's going wild. to the beach this weekend instead. Of oh, yeah. <laughs> got to have that beach time, though. So this is good. Uh, this is a good beer. Good beer. I got to rate it the beach pretty, too. pretty well. Huh? I said to drink at the beach, you would say, right? Yeah, I would definitely drink this at the beach. Mm-hmm. And, um, well, I wouldn't buy it at the beach because they probably charge too much for it. <laughs> they, they shouldn't. It's only four and a half percent. Word, and they, you know, it's not that when strong. they at the uh, like at the bars down there, they just you know sometimes they get a little crazy. Yeah, but um, I would say I like this. I don't know if I would buy it. Yeah, I don't think I would buy it personally. I feel you. I feel you. I this isn't so, this isn't like one of my go to styles. Right. Uh, but like I'm not mad more, at it. I like a little more hoppiness. Where like where's the hops, man? It's you a know? little too, a little too light. Yeah, it's very light. And uh, hold on, you're getting a lot more sweet aroma at the bottom of it too. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's really it's 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 it's, it's all right. It's a good and pa- it's good in passing. Yeah, you know, if it's around, yeah, you know, would, <laughs> but it's not it's not something I would uh be going to to get. Right. If I went to a party one time, uh, I know your party days is over. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I still have a good time. I just have a good time, you know, with my close friends and my yeah. wife now. You know what I mean? That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Cause I definitely, I don't, you know, I don't even drink like I used to either. It's just not, you know what I mean? I just can't. Yeah. It's just, I physically can't do it. I feel you. I gotta bro. go to work. You know, yeah. you feel crazy the next day. It's exactly. Just like, uh, I had I too mean? many of them days, man. Oh yeah, you know it's man? over. I can't. I can't. I can't have them. The, the bad nights, doing too much. It's, yeah. it's not my style anymore. It's just I don't like having to recover. Word, the it's recovery just, is the, like, no, it's man. It's terrible. It's whack. So now I just I enjoy it for the taste. You exactly, know what I mean? Yeah. For the, you know, feeling like I'm sophisticated or something. <laughs> I smell the Word. fruits. That's what that's what got me into this, uh, the craft fruit thing also. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just wanting to have, um, wanting to have a reason to not, or uh, let me, let me, let me, let me phrase this correctly. I wanted to be able to uh, have good quality stuff that I enjoyed. You right. know what I mean? And um, I didn't want to over enjoy, you know, before right. I was drinking to just, you know, drinking just to drink. Right. And now with this quest, it's a journey. You just, you, you see, you see some stuff that seems interesting and, you know, you get to decipher it and be like, all right, this is good. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, yeah. It's 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 almost it's um it's a so it's, it's a liberating libation kind of thing you know what I'm saying I like that <laughs> liberating libation <laughs> that's the phrase of the, the day word phrase of the liberating day liberating libation what's the, what's the, who did that was that Sesame Street that Sesame did it? Street, yeah that's how the they mm. probably had it soon <laughs> Letter dun, of the day. Dun, dun. Yeah. the word of the day the word of the day is liberating, liberating libation. libation. <laughs> <laughs>
Unbelievable. Let me make sure this can real quick. Nope. <laughs> yeah, we, we probably missed so much shit. Word. Sorry about that, guys. Whatever you missed, hopefully it's on IG Live on King Dom's joint. King Dom 302, right? Yep, King Dom 302. Word, make King sure. King Dom underscore 302. Boom. Make sure you follow King Dom underscore 302 on Instagram. And show him your love, man. Say what's up. And uh, refer some beers to him. You know what I mean? Word. Follow me, follow my, my articles, follow everything. Follow the Corner Store Podcast. Yes. The Corner Store Podcast on IG now, too. Ooh, so, okay. And, we're, and, we're, and, 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 you know, I think I'm going to be probably switching over to YouTube soon. Yeah? Because, yeah, it's cloud tripping. No doubt, no doubt, no they doubt. They about to ruin it for themselves. I know, they man. They almost went under. I don't know why they want to throw up a wall now. <laughs> you might as well be for trying real. to get that ad advertising Word. money. They should. You're trying to throw up this wall that you can only limit the three. Okay, well. It's crazy. There goes your company. You're like, you know crazy, what I mean? man. You better figure something else out. For real, man. Like if you and if you want some help with the cameras, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Word. Cause uh, excuse me. No, you got one. You uh, you got a cannon, right? Yes. I got the. the this is like T3, so like yeah, you know, I, I got know. nothing. I got the same. For real? Or T5? Yeah. Dang, the same, brother. <laughs> but they, I mean, they still Where do. You know, they when, do the when, same when, thing. Get the job you done. know what I mean? But one thing I know is doing this is it definitely will help with a second camera. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. That way you get your angles and stuff. Yeah. So you know, let me know and I got you. I'll be there. Okay, I appreciate that. You feel me? Um, one hundred do it do it all. That's that's is that in Dover? No, one hundred do it all. We uh actually do the show out mm-hmm. of Wilmington at the okay. Act Generation Building in uh right okay. in the down you know downtown area. Yeah. So um, shout out to DJ Mike Knight and mm-hmm. uh Miz the DJ. They're the other ones and Shorty T. Yeah, They're Shorty the ones T. That all OG. are the um the star creators of it. Yeah, and it's an all online radio station, but they pay they play twenty four seven. Right. So you can download the app and go to the website. Mm-hmm. Um, they play twenty four seven. They got multiple shows. Yeah. They play music round the clock. Mm-hmm. And uh, the cool thing about it is it's internet radio, but they pay royalties. Okay. They pay royalties like a real radio station. Wow. So you, you have to submit your music. Yeah. Get on there, have all your your paperwork right. Right. All that kind of stuff. It can't be no, you know. <laughs> yeah. Joe Schmo stuff with no paperwork behind right. it. You just recorded right now. Yeah. You got to have, you know, you got to have, make sure you can get your BDS scans mm-hmm. for artists that don't know what that is. But yeah, basically, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, they, we, I've been talking with them for a while for probably over a year and I just wasn't ready yet. I had to get all my stuff right. together, make sure I was, you know, be, was able to, you know, make it like what I wanted to make it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we still working. We only uh, five, six episodes in. Mm-hmm. Um, trying to get the viewership up more, remarketing, different things. Just you know, learning from the first, the first batches of the the podcast Most and making it better. Um, but yeah, go download One Hundred Do It All Radio app. It's on iTunes, Android, mm-hmm. everywhere that there's apps available. You can go to One Hundred Do It All Radio dot com. I put the I, link in the uh, in yeah, the description. Like I said, my show. I got a show on tonight. Um, I got some other artists I'm speaking with. I don't want to let too much out the bag. <laughs> but I got one that I've been texting with a lot. Right. Um, and he's, uh, I don't know if I want to put the name out there. <laughs> but I'm going to hold that. But he's he's definitely a, a 90s, 2000 hip-hop legend. Okay, you know, yeah. Legend from New York. Oh, man. So, um, and I'll, tell, I'll give you a hint. He was part of a well-known rap duo. But we'll leave it at that. Leave it at that. Leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm talking to a couple of, you know, uh, a couple of different people. So, we're going to see what, what goes on. We're, I'm, I'm thinking about um, just refining some different things. Mm-hmm. But like I said, check me out tonight, 7. I don't know yes. when this is going to air. But if not, it is <laughs> after. You can check me out online. I will have it posted by tomorrow. So No doubt, brother. Well, hey, man. Thank you for coming through, man. Yeah, man. You know I appreciate you, Rob. Word. This was a real good show. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And brought up a lot of good points. And had a lot of good information. Word. Man. And, um, yo, I appreciate you for coming through. Um, let's have some beer together sometime. Hey, man, with it. Because that's always a beautiful thing. Yeah, beats and brews. And I got an EP for you, too. Hey. <laughs> Word. So, yo, this is the Beats and Brews podcast. Y'all, it's your boy Rob Dorsey here with my man. King Don. And y'all just watched. Well, if y'all just watched. But y'all just watched. Stay cool, all right? Drink some good beer. Peace out.